after I graduated, I went to the work at Chalk River Laboratories just outside of Ottawa. These were projects that were constructing components for other accelerator facilities in the world as part of the Canadian contribution to those facilities. So although Canadian light source hadn't been approved, or had scarcely been even thought of in the early 90s, we were already working on technology that was ultimately going to be used in that one, uh, about 10 years later. Medical Isotopes initiative using electron accelerators, which is what we're doing, reflects kind of the group that was all connected with that accelerator physics branch back in Chalk River many, many years ago. The initial urgency got started when there were some problems at the large reactor at NRU at Chalk River, which at the time was producing around 40 to 50 percent of the world's supply of these medical isotopes. Now, these medical isotopes are ones that are used in a, a wide variety of diagnostic tests. Canada decided to try to take a look at alternate technologies that just kind of eliminates the uranium from the picture completely uh, and is much cleaner. So the goal is that in about uh, 15 to 18 months time, we will be able to take the molybdenum that's produced here and use that to make the radioisotopes for standard clinical tests. For any substantial task, you need a wide range of expertise coming together. So for us to be competitive, we've got to make sure that we continue to work together and we can still make uh, significant impact worldwide because of that.